Good afternoon and welcome to TrevorMcManus.com and RJ1200.com. I am Trevor McManus. I've got Tim Dicker to my immediate left here. Uh, we'll just jump right into it. My nose was hit by a hockey stick. End of story. I'm fine. <laughs> there was only eight stitches. You've got nothing to worry about. The guilty parties have been punished. That's it. Perfect. Uh, now, speaking of punishment, is Rick Nash's punishment going to the New York Rangers? I think he's in for a big shock. Like he's played, he's been the big fish in a small pond for a very long time. I think he's gonna be. They'll make the playoffs. That's gonna be exciting for him. Um, he's gonna. I bet you. Uh, he's he's going to give a lot more once he gets to the playoffs. But it's a big contract, and he's a pretty good player. You look at the line right now. The obvious line goes Gabrick. You've got Richards in the middle, and then Nash on the side. Yeah. You don't see him. Do you see him breaking the 90 point plateau? He will get the highest points of his career if he stays healthy. Will he break 90 points? I don't know. Uh, the, the most he's done, I, th- I think the highest point totally had was 84. Um, I guess it's certainly possible. It's, it's the best group of players he's ever played with. So theoretically. Game. Or, or the or Team Canada. Canada. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but theoretically, yes, he should break the 90, plateau, 90 point plateau, but I don't know. I don't know if he's going to. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not 100% confident on it anyways. I'm not sold that he's going to be this 100-point player that he had the potential to be as he, when he got into the league. Um, you know, there are the great players turned their teams into winners. Vetchkin, Crosby, the, those, those guys are examples. I mean, they've, they have more, more tools on their team for sure, but they turned those teams into winners by being there, and he wasn't doing that. He's not the guy to do that. Would you put Alex Semin in that same batch with Washington? Yeah. Well, he was one of the, the big pieces, uh, scored a lot of goals. Uh, he's not a leader by any means. He's not a superstar in this league, but he's certainly going to help the Hurricanes. That was a big get, a get by them. $7 million for one year. Is he worth that kind of money? For one year, sure. Yeah, sure. For a one-year commitment, you don't mind giving him $7 million. It's the... Seven million over five, like each year for five years, that would be an issue. Uh, I think his cap hit, if he was going to sign a longer term deal, would be closer to six. Uh, that's probably more reasonable for Alexander Semin because he's never really broken out. He's just one of those guys with this amazing skill set, but he's never really like taken that extra step to uh, to all star status. You know, um, Alex Semin. It should be interesting because the deal with Alex Semin does it mean that Jim Rutherford is serious about winning? Or does it mean that he's trying to make it look like he's serious about winning? No, I think it means he's serious about winning. They have an all-star goalie. They have uh, a young and -and up-and-coming player. They've got a lot of good young players because they haven't been great. You know, they haven't been a good team for a long time. Uh, And they have both Stahl brothers now. I think Jordan Stahl is going to have a breakout year. with. uh, He's definitely a guy to pick up in your hockey pool. A little hockey pool tip for you. Uh, If you can, because I think he's going to have a breakout year. He's He's never had the type of minutes he's going to have. This season. Now, the final question about Carolina is: Do you break it into pairs? Do you go stall Semin and then stall Skinner, or do you just go out flat out? You go stall stall Semin on the first line. I think it's hard to say. I, I think the smart move is what you suggest: the, uh, the you pairing. know stall and Semin and then stall and Skinner. But you don't know how the chemistry is going to work out. Really, uh, it it might you you might end up with two lines that aren't as effective as they could be. So you might end up with one that's really effective if you stack it up. Uh, it all depends on the complementary players, too, the, the other players that you're going to add to those lines. Because if you do two and two, that third guy becomes very important. Uh, I, uh, I know that's the Detroit model to go two, two pairs, right, uh, stick together on the lines, and the third guy wasn't as important, but I, I don't know. I, I think it's going to shake out a little bit over the first you know, few months of the season to see how it goes. I think people really want to see the stall, guy, the stall boys on the same line. Tim Decker, Trevor McManus, you can catch us weekly Saturday mornings from 9 to 10 on RJ1200. You can catch him Monday to Friday mornings, RJ1200, 6 to 10 o'clock. You still working that gig? Mumbai morning shows, yeah, Paris and Trenia, fun times. And you can catch me on the afternoon drive with Angelina Rye for TrevorMcManus.com and RJ1200.com. I'm Trevor McManus.